Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2022-2023 exam. Bada hi important topic aaj hum karne wale hain that is priority sector lending. So all the updates are there till 12th of December 2022. Last update jo thi wo October mein aayi thi is year. So I have added all the previous updates. So if you have gone through the old lectures please check this one for the updates so that's really really important every year there are at least two questions two to three questions are there in the exam directly from this particular topic from priority sector learning it is really really important and students we have already started the bank of maharashtra journalist officer 2022 2023 course in which we are providing video classes notes uh, and the test series and we are covering the entire syllabus If there is any doubt ask your doubts this is my personal whatsapp number and now let's start the session and uh, let me just hide myself yeah so what is priority sector lending students see students a bank banks they are not really interested in giving loans to uh, the students for education to the farmers to the maybe msmes they are not interested they are interested in giving away corporate loans right that is why rbi said okay uh, now the banks they need to give loans to the priority sector i mean priority sector uh, sector we will discuss puta kya priority sector <coughs> categories kya hain and there is a proper target for that and we are going to discuss the categories and the targets today okay so let's start uh, what is the total priority sector lending target for the domestic commercial banks like uh, hdfc icici sbi 40% of anbc or ceo be so what is anbc what is anbc so students anbc is adjusted net bank credit adjusted net bank credit so it should be 40% 40% of anbc or ceo be uh out of that 18% out of that 18% uh aisa nahi hai ki 40 ka 80% let's say 100 ka 40% uh should be uh, to, uh towards total priority sector lending and 100 ka 18% ye jo 40% hai isme se 18 that means jo remaining 22% banta hai i guess right that should be towards the remaining sector theek hai i hope that is clear So, 18% of ANBC or CEO BE, it should be towards agriculture. Please remember these numbers; it's really, really important. Okay, 18% towards agriculture and 10% is prescribed for small and marginal farmers. 10% for small and marginal farmers. Okay, it's same for RRBs, but the RRB ka target, total priority sector target for RRBs is 75% of ANBC. and for small finance banks it is 75% of anbc okay uh, out of which uh, for the regional rural banks the loans that they are giving to medium enterprises social inter infrastructure projects renewable energy there is a cap of 15% okay there is a cap of 15% in case of rrbs micro enterprises uh, we are going to discuss the the definition of micro enterprises in the next slides karenge aage 7.5% of ANBC ka target hai for micro enterprises same for RRB and small finance banks advances to weaker section 12% ka target hai for advance uh, for uh, commercial banks and 15% for ANB uh, for RRBs and 12% for small finance banks so students this number is very very important please remember in previous papers we have seen questions uh from these topic specifically advances to weaker section bahut baar repeat hota dekha hai maine uh for small and marginal farmers ka 10% i have seen it multiple times multiple times repeat ho raha hai ye ye wala question multiple times repeat ho raha hai 75% uh within this particular table i would i can tell you 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 there are six questions which have been asked in the previous paper ye wale table mein se pichle exams mein 6 se 7 question aa chuke hain uh in rrb scale 2 and bank of maharashtra journalist officer repeat hote hain bar 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 is table ko aap acche se yaad kar le in numbers ko thoda se yaad kar le samjha main chuka hu aapko theek hai and then what about the urban cooperative banks 
now the urban cooperatives banks are monitored regulated by the rbi same total ka target hai 40 but eventually that would be increased to 75 percent uh, by 2020 march 31 2020 it's 40 percent 2021 may 45 percent 2022 may 50 percent 2023 may 60 2024 may 75 percent ka jo hai target kar diya jayega uh, for the uh, priority sector micro enterprises same 7.5 advances to weaker section same 12 percent okay so minor changes are there uh, recently it has been uh, updated so i have added the updates okay so what is the definition of small and marginal farmers definition kya hai a farmer with a land holding of up to one hectare he is a marginal farmer one to two hectare he is a small farmer please remember that landless agricultural laborers tenant farmers oral lessees share uh, croppers whose share of land holding is within the limit of prescribed uh, smf so so let's move forward and then uh, loans to self-help groups or joint liability groups they are also under uh, you know they are smf only for agriculture and related activities loan up to two lakhs to individuals solely engaged in allied activities you know who doesn't have any land it's also smf loans to fuos fvcs right i mean uh, and the cooperatives of farmers directly engaged in agriculture so that is also uh, comes under the S, uh, the small and marginal farmer ka, you know category okay what is the definition of farm credit for individual farmers to categorize a loan uh, under you know priority sector you need to define a farm credit okay not really important from examination point of view but you should know so the crop loans given medium and long term loans to the agriculture allied activities loans for pre post harvest loans to distressed farmers loans under kisan credit card scheme it comes under farm credit that is important okay loans to small and marginal farmers now that is important it was asked in the previous paper so loans against the pledging or hypothetic uh, hypothetication of hypothecation sorry hypothecation of uh, see when you go to the uh, the warehouses national warehouses uh, you take loans against receipts loan against the receipts you give your produce and you get the receipt and if you take the loan against the proceeds uh, uh, against the receipts so a loan uh, for a period not exceeding 12 months so you can take a loan up to 75 lakhs that is priority sector lending and if it is not uh, you know uh, not a nwr national warehouse uh, receipt if, if it is not an nwr receipt then up to 50 lakh it is priority sector lending loan okay so for installation of uh, solar agricultural pumps uh, for uh, solar power plants to for the farmers that is also priority sector uh, under the farm credit category okay so now this is really really important in the priority sector lending the definition of micro small and medium enterprises changed multiple times in char by change so uh, to uh, i would say uh, to uh, that, that's how you explain uh, it mm, the investment jo hai, it is not more than one crore and uh, turnover up to five crore then it is a micro uh, you know industry and then what do you mean by small industry small company uh, it is the investment and the plant and machinery is up to 10 crore and annual turnover up to 50 crore what is a medium enterprise uh, investment in the plant and machinery is up to 50 crore and annual turnover is up to 250 crore it would be a medium enterprise and this is really important this question from this uh, you know table has been asked in previous paper ये previous paper में पूछा गया है बार बार so please remember that what is the definition of micro small and medium so there are two criteria one investment कितना है plant and machinery में and the second annual turnover right so if investment in plant and machinery is up to one crore it is a micro if it is turnover is up to five crore it is also micro ठीक है so that's how the criteria has been defined please remember that paper में आ जाता है बार बार Lending by banks to NBFC and, and MFIs uh, for on lending. Suppose a bank is giving a loan to NBFC. 
ओके छोटी सी एन बी एफ सी एंड द एन बी एफ सी इज गिविंग प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लोन सो दैट प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लोन वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज टू वर्ड्स द टारगेट ऑफ बैंक ओके तो बैंक का टारगेट जो है कंप्लीट माना जाएगा सो बैंक क्रेडिट टू एन बी एफ सीज फॉर ऑन लैंडिंग फॉर टर्म लैंडिंग कॉम्पोनेंट अंडर एग्रीकल्चर वुड बी अलाउड रुपीज टेन लाख पर बॉरवर सो एन बी एफ सी अगर पी एस एल के लोन देता है अप टू रुपीज टेन लाख पर बॉरवर अप टू रुपीज टेन लाख पर बॉरवर दैट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज पी एस एल फॉर ऑन लैंडिंग पर्पजेज ठीक है सो पी एस एल में ये कंसिडर होगा ऑन लैंडिंग के लिए ठीक है लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड फैक्टरिंग ट्रांजेक्शन सो बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज की जो फैक्टरिंग होती है ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स की राइट सो फैक्टरिंग ट्रांजेक्शन प्रटेनिंग टू एम एस एम ईज टेकिंग प्लेस रूट ट्रेड्स प्लेटफॉर्म द ट्रेड रिसीवेबल डिस्काउंटिंग सिस्टम शेल बी क्लासीफाइड अंडर प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर सो जो फैक्टरिंग की बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज को डिस्काउंट कर रहा है लेट से इफ अ बिजनेस इज हैविंग अ बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज विच इज डिस्काउंटेड ऑन द ट्रेड्स प्लेटफॉर्म बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज का लेक्चर आप देख लीजिए प्लीज so that would be also considered as a priority sector loan theek hai khadi and village industry all loans to units in the khadi and village sector will be eligible to be classified under the sub category of 7.5% prescribed under micro enterprises under the priority sector khadi and village uh, industry kvp would be considered as micro enterprise please remember that important hai exam point of view se एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट पे देर आर सर्टन लिमिट्स ओके इंक्रीमेंटल एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट ओवर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग डेट ऑफ द प्रीसीडिंग ईयर अप टू टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी विच एवर इज हायर सब्जेक्ट टू अ सैंक्शन लिमिट अप टू फोर्टी करोर पर बॉर ओवर फोर्टी करोर का लिमिट है अप टू टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी दीज आर द लिमिट फॉर द फॉर द डोमेस्टिक बैंक एंड फॉर फॉरन बैंक टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी का लिमिट है ओके सो अ बैंक विद लेस एन ट्वेंटी ब्रांचेस थर्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ द ए एन बी सी ठीक है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी का लिमिट है और फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी करोर पर बॉर्वर सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस टेबल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हो सकता है साल आ जाए अदर फाइनेंस टू एम एस एम ईज लोन अप टू फिफ्टी करोर टू स्टार्ट अप दैट इज क्लासिफाइड अंडर प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग loans to entities involved in assisting decentralized sector in supply of input and marketing of outputs of artisans artisans ki uh, ke products ko jo market karte hain unko input provide karte hain those entities loan unko dete hain so that is also psl loans to cooperatives of producers in decentralized sector so the cooperatives of artisans cottage industry that loans given to them is psl loan sanctioned by banks to mfis and other mfis which are member of rbi recognized sro that is also uh, priority sector theek hai loans to registered N uh, nbfcs for on lending to micro and small uh, enterprises that is also a priority sector loan credit outstanding uh, under general credit cards including the artisan credit card lagu udyami credit cards swarojgar credit card इन दीज कैटेगरीज इट इज अ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग ओवर ड्राफ्ट टू प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना एज पर द लिमिट प्रिस्क्राइब बाई वेरियस बैंक इट इज ऑल्सो अ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग लोन आउटस्टैंडिंग डिपॉजिट विद सिड बी एंड मुद्रा एटसेट्रा ऑन द अकाउंट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर शॉर्ट फॉल दैट दैट इज ऑल्सो अ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर ओके सो आउटस्टैंडिंग डिपॉजिट विद सिड बी एंड मुद्रा लिमिटेड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर शॉर्ट फॉल so why this particular uh, page is important maybe in the exam there would be a question which of the following is not a priority sector loan maybe it they can ask this question in me se kya priority sector loan nahi hai okay that can be there so that is why you you are supposed to remember that okay so education loan this limit used to be 10 lakhs and this question was asked in ibps rrb uh, gbo scale 2 ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई एस वन एग्जाम इस साल नहीं पिछले साल आया था एंड ट्वेंटी लैक्स का जो है इसमें देर इज अ लिमिट लोन अप टू ट्वेंटी लैक्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज टू बी लोन अप टू ट्वेंटी लैक्स दे आर कंसिडर्ड एज वॉट प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लोन ठीक है लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड
housing uh, bank loans to, see bank uh, if a bank is giving loans to its own employees that is not a priority sector first of all you should consider that that is very very important okay now this is really important as in the previous paper loan up to 35 lakhs loan up to 35 lakhs in metropolitan center where population is 10 lakhs and above if the price of house cost of house is 45 lakhs ye cost hai and this is the loan value then in metropolitan areas okay in other areas loan value is 25 lakhs and the cost overall cost is 30 lakhs then it is a priority sector loan okay so since housing loans which are backed by long term bonds are exempted from a and b c bank should not classify such loans under priority sector lending okay not really important so first two points this one is really really important uh, loan value 35 lakhs house ka value 45 lakhs that is a priority sector lending loan in metropolitan centers where population is more than 10 lakhs okay 10 lakhs a come population may maximum 25 lakh ka jo hai cap hai okay loan up to 10 lakhs in metropolitan centers and up to 6 lakhs in other centers for repairs to damaged dwelling house confirming to overall agar you know for repairs right uh, repair for the damaged properties uh, if that loan is taken in the metropolitan limit is 10 lakhs in other centers it is 6 lakh i mean many people they take loan for renovation of houses repairs that's common bank loan to any government agency for development of housing societies where carpet area of one unit is not more than 60 square meter then that is also considered as priority sector loans bank loan for affordable housing projects at least 50 percent of far fci fsi uh, carpet area less than 60 square meter i say housing projects it is a priority sector loan bank loans to hfcs housing finance companies for on lending up to 20 lakh for individual borrowers uh, on lending matlab bank ne hfc ko diya and then hfc is further lending bank gave money to hfc and now for all at on lending and then hfc loan de raha hai so that loan would be considered at priority sector wo priority sector hi count hoga but maximum loan value is 20 lakhs in that case it is a psl loan okay for the social infrastructure projects this question was asked in the previous paper bank loan up to 5 crore per borrower for setting up schools drinking water facilities sanitation including construction refurbishment of uh, housing uh, household toilets and water improvement projects that would be considered as uh, a priority sector loan okay and uh, for uh, you know projects under uh, ayushman bharat in tier 2 to tier 6 centers loan limit is 10 crores okay let's move forward renewable energy projects loan up to 30 crores to borrowers for purposes like solar power generators biomass based power generators windmills micro hydel plants that is priority sector lending and in case uh, for individual households who want to set up renew renewable energy projects limit is 10 lakhs per borrower that would be considered as priority sector lending loan bank loan to mfis for on lending uh, so from 5th of may 2021 this is a circular very important uh, where the gross loan portfolio is up to 500 crores gross loan portfolio sfbs are allowed to extend fresh credit to registered nbfcs okay let's continue that so uh, the sfbs uh, which are you know giving loans to nbfcs and uh, mfis the total uh, priority sector lending ka the bank credit as above will be allowed up to 10 percent of individual banks total priority sector lending okay whatever jitna bhi sfp apna uh, ka jo total priority sector lending ka target hai uska 10 percent it's 10 percent is a maximum cap on giving uh, you know priority uh, on giving loans to the mfis jitna iska 10 percent cap hai. allowed up to limit of 10 percent of individual banks uh total priority sector lending okay so 
the second point the bank uh, the the nbfc mfi which have a gross loan portfolio of up to 500 crores right so if the banks the sfbs are giving loans to the N nbfc mfis whose gross loan portfolio is up to 500 crores only then it would be considered as priority sector loan okay bank loans to hfcs for on lending uh, we have already covered in the previous slide so if the banks are giving loans to H hfcs which are further giving low, uh, priority sector lending loans so uh, basically on lending is see the bank is giving loan to hfc and then hfc is giving housing loan which is under priority sector lending now this priority sector lending loan would be considered towards the banks target bank ka jo target hai 40% ka it would be considered towards that ye bank ka target cover hoga phir but there is a limit of 20 lakhs per borrower and this is important okay ye important hai isko yaad rakhein thik hai cap on on lending uh, bank credit to nbfc there is a cap of that will be allowed to overall limit of 5% of individual banks total priority sector lending uh, bank a credit towards NBFC, it is allowed, but there is a limit of 5%. So please remember that there is an overall capping of that. Okay. So loans not exceeding 2 lakhs provided by banks to uh, small help groups for activities other than agriculture, MSMEs, they would be considered as a priority sector lending loans. Those loans uh, have been given for meeting social needs, construction, repair of houses, construction of toilets, or any other viable common activity started by a small help group. These loans would be considered as priority sector lending loans. Now let's do some questions. What is the priority sector lending target for advances to weaker section? Now you have done the entire, uh, you know, chapter. Pura priority sector lending kar chuke hai. This is very important question repeated multiple times in previous paper. 12% is a correct answer. My answer would be different if it, it was RRB, RRB mein 15%, uh, domestic commercial bank 12, small finance banks 12, not applicable on foreign banks. As per the latest PSL guidelines, the weightage, I guess we have not covered in the <laughs> topic. Uh, let me cover it now. This is a really important update. So as per RBI, in some uh, districts, a lot of PSL priority sector loans have been given by the uh, various banks. For example, PNB gave, gave a lot of priority sector lending loans in Punjab, but they didn't give enough loans in Haryana, maybe, right? So certain districts are undercovered. That is why RBI made a list of, uh, you know, districts. Okay. So uh, the districts where PSL is less than PSL is priority sector lending loan per capita is less than 6000 uska weightage jo hai 125% kar diya hai weightage means what if psl loan of 10 lakhs is given 10 lakhs is given in this uh, center that would be considered as 12.5% towards completion of target okay if per capita PSL is more than 25,000, if it is more than 25,000 per capita is more than 25,000, then that would be considered as 90%. Okay. So please remember that it is really, really important. Under the prior, you can pause the video, you can read it. Okay. I have I already bata chuka hu. under PSL sector, uh, PSL lending, the new loan limit for renewable energy projects is 30 crores it's 30 crore for individual it is 10 lakhs per borrower okay in set of rule directives given by rbi which are the following options come under uh, psl i guess oh, sorry aati hai, hai? so uh, applicable limit for bank loan for building social infrastructure projects is uh, 5 crores or 50 million per borrower and for uh, the social infrastructure uh, you know, projects comes under the Ayushman healthcare facilities under Ayushman Bharat in tier two to tier six centers. The loan limit is 10 crore rupees. We have already done that easy question. Education loans, uh, the prescribed limit for bank loans sanctioned to the education uh, sector 
under the priority uh, under the priority sector suppose you go to the bank for a uh, you know educational loan up to 20 lakhs that would be considered as a priority sector loan take a very easy question target for domestic scheduled commercial banks for priority sector lending is 40 percent of a and b c right or off balance sheet exposure whichever is higher so let's move forward this question so you can read it again we have already updated that already kar chuke hain which of the following is not it doesn't come under the you know weaker section pradhan mantri jandhan yojana so uh, this one has been updated i won't say this is a correct question because the latest circular hai usme aise diya gaya hai as per the bank directives bank ki apni apni directives hain ye pehle sahi hota tha i won't say ki ye correct hai please remember that uh, ye waise overall this is a really important table exams mein aa chuka hai weaker section ka definition choose the wrong statement about uh, the prescribed limit for housing loan under the priority sector common question theek hai wrong option kya hai uh, isme dekhiye loans up to 4.5 million so this one is i guess uh, you know that's that's the wrong uh, option uh, because the loan of 35 lakhs where the value of cost of house is 45 lakhs so first option is uh, incorrect housing loans to the own employees is not considered as priority sector so both a and b are wrong okay so students uh, i hope you like the today's session that was a pretty lengthy section session today generally i don't do such lengthy se uh, sessions bank of maharashtra journalist office of course is already available on bank exams today.com we are providing complete video classes notes uh, quizzes test series we are co providing the complete coverage and i'm also going to provide you interview preparation guidance pura coverage kar rahe hain there is I, I have seen few students who are asking just for the notes or just for you know test series or they are searching on youtube for random classes trust me students this is not this is not the right place to save your money you should save your money on while you know ordering expensive food or while buying clothes you can save money there but never ever save your money i mean never ever save your money while studying i would say a money spent on books is never wasted a money spent on online courses i mean trust me you won't waste it you're going to get a lot of output from that okay so that's my recommendation uh, that's what i recommend do not uh, feel like that you are wasting money while paying for uh, you know your education you are educating yourself at the age of 27 28 you are educating yourself for your career the kind of output you are going to get even if we people are able to give you 10 extra marks and you are able to crack your exam because of that i mean that's that's enough i mean that's that's what what my job is if you are here and you want to go there that's that's my goal i want you to crack the exam and you can do this trust me it's it's, it's actually very very easy the bumper number of vacancies a lot of vacancies are there and you need some extra efforts instead of you know regretting in the future that i could have done this i could have taken the course i could have taken raman's help raman sir's some people call me sir so raman sir's help or that teacher's help i don't say don't just take my course i mean you can take any course take some help you need help trust me without any help it's it would be very difficult for you to crack the exam study and cover cover the entire syllabus within two months bahut mushkil ho jayega aapke liye don't do that don't just waste your time uh, study the course पूरे का पूरा कॉज पढ़ें आई कैन गिव यू हंड्रेड परसेंट अश्योरेंस इफ यू आर एबल टू कवर द सिलेबस यूल बी एबल टू क्रैक द एग्जाम एंड आई गिव दिस अश्योरेंस टू ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर एबल टू कवर द सिलेबस हंड्रेड परसेंट सिलेबस विच इज पॉसिबल विच इज डू एबल देन यूल बी एबल टू क्रैक द एग्जाम एंड यूल गेट द जॉब योर ड्रीम जॉब राइट एंड आई मीन see all these students these eight students i mean these these were my favorite students right i i know them personally uh, now nah so all these students that took my courses in in the previous year like one year back that's why i know them even now they took the course and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them okay 
you can do the same it's easy look at them they were normal people when they came to me they didn't know anything they didn't know quant they appeared for the very first competitive exam and they cracked it now they are skilled to officers you can do the same all these students most of them appeared for their first competitive exams and they cracked their respective exams and they did it now you can do the same right links are available in the description start your journey today this is your time right take the decision right and that's all for today students thank you if there is any doubt in your mind my number is always there ask me anything okay that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye